Hello and welcome back. This is video number two, The Big Problem. So we briefly touched base on this, but I'm going to dive a lot deeper in this particular video. You see, the biggest problem is not getting your site set up to sell, but rather getting your students to consume your course. Here's a big quick fact. Did you know that most students consume less than 10% of a course? So what happens is they buy a course, they're excited about it, but they just don't finish it. So you might have people finishing your course, but let's say out of a hundred or even out of a thousand people, that number actually becomes very, very small. And there's a big reason for that, which we'll touch base in just a second. So the goal here, as you can imagine, is not only to set up your online course, onto your WordPress site and set it up so that you can start selling it, but also to get your students excited to go through your course. And here's why. It's a known fact that if you can get your students to consume your course, they're gonna to wanna to buy more from you. They're going to feel like, wow, I really enjoyed that course, I want more. So if you put yourself in their shoes and maybe you've bought a course and you, you just never have finished it, or maybe you have gone through a course and you feel like, wow, I've got so much value out of this. I want to see if this person has a different course. So in other words, you feel impacted by that person. So with the law of reciprocation, you want to seek them out more. So the big question is, how do you go about doing this? Well, to set the stage, we're going to be covering this in a lot more depth in this course. But what you want to do is you will want to prep your course outline and lay it all out so that it is easy to consume. Now, obviously you already have a online course in hand. What we're doing here is we are basically going to break things down so that you can see, okay, the first thing, this is what they see. They see this video afterwards, or maybe in between these videos, we could add something else that's highly engaging and things like that. So it's not necessarily that you are having to re-edit your course. It's basically making it in more engaging, all right? And it'll make more sense in just a second. So in other words, you want to make sure that your experience is as easy as possible. You want to add engagement through quizzes, through forums, or a comment section. You also want to gamify, or in other words, make the course fun. So you can go all out. You can even use a system like gammapress.com and integrate it into certain WordPress plugins. And you can do things like, okay, somebody gets points when they log in, they get points when they do certain things within the course and maybe they can rack up those points and use that points to buy other things. So as you can imagine, even as adults, if you gamify things, it increases the chance of somebody actually consuming your course. All right. So now that you have a general overview of the big problem, kind of what we need to do, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the experience. So how can we increase that consumption rate through the experience? 